I just opened my water bottle and it splashed on my cheek. Hello, people. And I want to play Quake, but I want to play the m mission pack. So if you don't if you don't know what the mission pack is, it's the it's like basically an add-on to the story. It's another in, entire game. It's not like a DLC or anything. It's another game. So um anyway, basically you'll need to research how to download basically how you download it you researched what to do with quake of how to download the soundtrack for the original game i hope you're going to need to look up the soundtrack online for the scourge of armagon and then download that in the same way except in the scourge of armagon folder which should be labeled hypnotic just research how to do that after you download the hip um the thing from steam but anyway so nothing looks different so far but basically once you get to the main menu you you hit escape that br this brings you to the console which um in when you're in the game you normally press it by hitting the button to the left of the tab to the left of the one key which should look like a squiggle and a dash and um that will bring you to this when you're in game and uh basically what you want to do is when you're once you're here you can do this in game too but once you're here you hit game no capitals it looks like this is capitals but it's not game space hypnotic and you hit enter and that'll take you to the screen for this thing hit escape to go to the pause men the main menu And, um, one second. Um, I'm sorry, wait a minute. Anyway. Hit single player, new game. You get right into it, and as you can notice, there's an actual soundtrack to this instead of just atmospheric noise. Which I like the atmospheric noise as well. But this this is much better because it gives a better feel of shooting crap instead of like getting scared um anyway let's get into this so once you st okay i guess i should um get into the story so basically you came apparently you were stuck in chub pit for 10 years and then you found finally found the way out of it and you're on earth and armagon another monster of quake has sent is sending his forces to do what chub couldn't And you press this button that lowers the thing. You are you are in command headquarters right now, and that th this is kind of complicated. So when you to go into easy difficulty, you just go around and down the, down here. 
and then go all the way around into easy to normal and all the difficulties are connected via hallways which makes it really complicated and annoying um oh that closes that why is whatever if you go to normal actually i'll show you hard hard is a bit funny come out this is a low gravity zone kind of like uh if you remember the secret level from the first episode in the original game um ziggurat vertigo and then normal which i'm going to now if you want to play it normal is uh right there but i'm gonna go down here i want to show you nightmare how to get a nightmare difficulty so this is the hallway in between easy and normal um and right in here there's just a bunch of jumbled boxes and mess right here but right here if you go up here there's an elevator up to the nightmare difficulty which I don't want to go in right now so anyway we're going into normal for this playthrough and what's interesting about this mission pack is all of the slip all of the uh, episodes are connected so we're going into here all right we're in the pumping station let me actually hold on That's good. Alright, so just there's in four oh by the way, this is literally basically just episode five. So there is harder than it's harder than the first game. And in here there's some enforcers. There's a grunt in here. There's some more enforcers. And this is not an introductory level, this is an introductory episode. The entire episode is just like this. Oh, and this is a secret. I, uh, like the, um, other four parts, I'm not going to show you, um, all of the secrets. I'm just going to play it for you so you can get a gist of the game. Uh... Alright, so this gate right here, access denied pumping systems are active. Same with this door, all the way over here, access denied pumping systems are active. Alright. Alright, go and then you go here, to the, you go down here, there's some grunts here. To let you know still how a secret works, there's these prints on the wall right here, you see that? But that one looks different, that's because it's a secret. Wait, oh yeah, just armor, I think, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's a centroid. They're basically a crawling set of two nail guns. That, my friends, is a laser cannon. It 
freaking blows through every single enemy. It's the, like the most useful weapon. Except it bounces off of walls, so you're going to need to watch yourself because you can easily kill yourself by just shooting the wall and then the laser bouncing back at you. Uh, let me just, uh, oh, let me go the intended way down there, down here. Which the bouncing of the laser cannon really helps with, uh, if you don't want to deal with enemies that are just around the corner, you can just shoot it at the wall and it'll bounce around the corner and kill them. Which is really helpful, but you can't just use it to plow through enemies because then you might kill yourself. Access to nine pumping systems are active. Alright. Alright, what's up here? Come on. Oh, dang it! I forgot. Whatever. What? What, am, what did I forget? Oh, I need the gold key card for that. So. Okay, pump six systems right. You go down here. Blow that door up. This thing opens. Grab that. Blow that up. Don't touch any of this rubble because it hurts you for some reason. Oh. No, it doesn't. Maybe, maybe, um, yeah. Quake Spasm must have fixed that, then. So now the pumping systems are not active anymore. So you can safely go through any door that was locked and said that the pig you cannot act yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. Got the gold key card. Continuing to plow through these enemies like a boss. Wait, what the? When was I going to go through here? I don't know. There's a little button up there for you to get. And this right here is a proximity launcher. Basically, it sticks there until someone gets way too close to it. Or you can just blow it up by shooting at it. Or it'll just blow up if you if it sits there for long enough, it'll just blow up. And this pool right here takes you back to here. So that's how that all interconnects. And since I got the gold key card, I can get the heck out of here. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure four rockets will kill that. Or three. Or two or three. And that just deactivates this force field for a shortcut if you want to go back for secrets. Speaking of secrets, this is a really funny and cool secret you can do. There's a button inside of that box, and when you shoot the button, many boxes come out of the normal boxes. That's freaking hilarious. So you find a secret area. Now I got 200 health. Whew! And into the next level, the storage facility.
<laughs> they're fighting now. Oh, well, they were going to fight anyway. Whatever. Never mind that button for now. That's just... It opens the secret exit, which is that, but I'm gonna do the level normally. If you don't care about secret levels. Okay, what am I missing here? I don't know. Oh, I just jumped down. You just jumped down here. Get the health, but swim away really quickly because that's gonna kill the crap out of you. All right. What's up here? Oh wait, what's? It's on the other side then. This area. I got a shield. What's the shield? You got the empathy shields. Okay. Well, I have a lot of health. Force bridge activated. And no, you do not have to run along these red lines. You just walk and you'll stay here. Um. Okay, here's the gold key card. Silver key card. Why did I say gold? So that unlocks the, um, that, this, this door. to this area. Ready up before you press that button like I just didn't. And then don't waste your don't waste your rockets on these enemies. Use them to blow up the centroids. What am I doing? Okay. Press that button. Okay. I don't have the gold key card yet. What's in here? This area. Oh, okay. Got 
Got the super nail gun. Okay, prepare yourself before you go into here. Because there is way too many enemies in this area. Oh my god. Got the gold key card and a bunch of ammo. to the gold door here. Wait, what? Okay, it's in a different area. This one? No, that's the beginning of the level you do this. This one. Up here? Around here? Up here? No? Hmm. There we go. Okay. Gold door over here. No, that's where the enemy is. Okay, that's the exit. That slip, that platform, that's a slip gate. That's the slip gate that is the exit to the level. But if we want to go to the secret exit. Shooting that button opens that bridge. However, it is impossible to get up to that platform, up and around to that platform in time because the bridge and the door will close. So, you have to use your trusty proximity launcher, which has a time limit on when it will explode. So you just take your time going around, round and up, and eventually it will explode. And trigger the button. There you go. And if you want to get out, just hit that button. And here's the secret level.
this is called the M military complex. How the heck do you get up there? I don't freaking know, man. Okay. Okay. You cannot open this without the golden key card. Go down here, avoid the fan, the turbine, not a fan, if it were not underwater it would be a fan. One more to go. If yeah, if you shoot that button, it unlocks this. And I got some health, which I definitely needed, man. Okay. It said one more to go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh dang it. So those two buttons made this door open, and then in this door, is a centroid and a button. Cheap move. Loads of health. Thank you. Oh yeah. Access night sewer system lost. Frick, I freaking hate this part. I wanna save it. What the no? I'm just going back to find any health that I may have missed and desperately need. appears to be anywhere down here. 
That's great. up here. Great. That freaking killed me, okay. No health seems to be anywhere, so... You know what, I'm redoing that. I need to be super careful about this, man. Laser cannon time. Mm. That angers me immensely. My fellow dudes, that angers me immensely, tormentively immensely. I'm gonna frick you up, mother trucker. Better die. Rest in pieces, am I right? I don't know what the heck I'm saying. Or like rust in pieces. It's a combination of the best Mega Death album ever and rust in peace and upon rest in pieces rust in pieces oh yay hell thank you oh um hello how you doing i have killed you Oh, heck yeah, man. I'm gonna wreck your party, senor. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sewage system is now open. Great. Let me kill these mother truckers before I even have a chance to get in there. Alright. Yeah, okay, I can't get that. All right, um, oh. oh, wait, okay, um, oh, oh, cool. Okay. 
saving it now. Which is just a bio suit. That is. Over right here. Avoid the fan. Okay. Oh, and by the way, there's not as many levels, but the levels are long. The levels are like. Twice the length of the levels in the original game. And there's less levels, so the game is about the same length as the original one. And since the levels are longer, um. Since the levels are longer, it's, it's harder, so. If you forget to save, that's how you get the, this thing, but. I already had it in the level, so I didn't, whatever, um, this way, okay. Oh my god. Jeez, a whiz. Die, die, die. Die, die, die. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, just, okay, exit, exit. Oh, wow. That's a lot of secrets. And we ain't even into the hard levels yet. Let me save here. This level is called the Lost Mine. Access denied. Oh. Oh, yeah. Some some buttons in this game aren't actually buttons because that's like a gear, so you would never have known that that was a button. Oh wait, it's a lever. Whatever. Now I got quad damage. now open. Let me save.
run as the game pulls an Indiana Jones on you here. And then you use the boulder to get up there and get a bunch of health. And then it does it again, I think. But you can go over here for a secret. Oh no, it, it doesn't pull an Indiana Jones on you. Found a secret area. Coolio Brolio. Raviolio. Coolio Raviolio Brolio. Bungholio. Oh god. Yeah, this is blocked off. So you go in here. Oh my god. That was honestly freaky. That was just freaky. So you can blow this up, but before you do that, you can jump up here. And there's finally another enemy than people. There's a scrag. You can blow it up. Which, move out of the way here, because boulders start crashing down here. Which, then that'll just completely kill you, man. Got a laser cannon, like I didn't already freaking have one. Thanks, game, for giving me a weapon I already freaking had. Very helpful. Okay, now I'm invisible. Got the Ring of Shadows. I think they copied that from the Lord of Rings, but, you know, whatever. Coming down here. Let's get this armor. After run along that specifically, then... Oh my god, look at all the scrags down there. And, uh, stay on the track, because that happens. Oh, sorry, that happens. Um, laser gun! Laser cannon! Eh. Okay, it's dead now. We got a silver key card. And this is an elevator. So you don't have to go all the way back up there. Which I think it should make you go all the way back up there. Because if you don't remember where the silver door is, then you should just... Whatever. Oh, I'm stupid. So the door opens automatically, that's fine and dandy, man. My god. Okay. No, it don't open automatically. I wanna kick something. Let the door close. Ain't gonna close. No, it's gonna close right as it comes down. Yep, okay, I'm cheating here. Alright, we're shut up. I'm gonna just cheat and go up here. Okay, what's different about this area now? Oh, wait, what? What? What's, what's different? What's, what is different? This area's been here. I'm 
lost. I don't know what the heck to do, man. Oh, okay. that happens you can go up here but uh was there another wasn't there another way to go yeah here okay that just lets you look at the rock tumbler This is making me dizzy. Okay, the next level, research facility. Uh. Oh, and there's only one boss, which is the final boss. I mean, there's sort of a boss fight-esque battle at the end of this level, because this is the last level of the, um, this is the last level of the episode, and there's a shambler down here, so just kill, kill that thing while you can. in here okay got the silver key card excuse me Let's go down here. That's where the gold key card goes. I don't even have that yet. Haven't even seen it before in this level at this run. You know what I mean. Okay, whatever. Go up, over, kill that, kill, kill these people.
Okay, that's a secret area. Okay, that button opens that up. Okay, now I gotta go all the way back up there. Wrong way. I can't talk right now. Okay. So, they go a pretty. Oh god, lots of fish. That's a lot of fish. Okay. Okay. Got the gold key card. Now you gotta skip across this slime. Where you can do that. Does that almost work? Okay. Whoa, I don't want to use that. Uh, I like that it makes enemies spawn where you've already been to show you that you need to go back down somewhere but That button opens that up. And this is the little boss fight thing I was talking about. And that's the end of the level. Psych! There's this part. Hold on, my hand is so numb I can't move my pinky finger. Oh, hold on. Alright. Ooh. Alright, this is... I don't even know what the heck this is. This is the gateway. In between our world... And the Dominion of Darkness. That... Lightning is funny because it's making the shape of a pentagram. But it doesn't hurt you, I don't think. There should really be a cool boss here, that'd be cool. I need to let what let it do text for a while, man. Okay. Deep within, congratulations. Deep within the bowels of the research facility, you discover the passage that the followers of Quake have used to enter our world. The bastards use some type of gigantic teleporter to overload one of our slipgates. As long as this portal exists, 
Earth will never be safe from Quake's cruel minions. Congratulations. Uh, hey, what? What? What did that say? Okay, I can just read it here. If you can find the source of the portal's power, you can shut it down, possibly forever. With only a moment's consideration for your own safety, you re-enter the dark domain, knowing that hell, knowing hell would be a better fate than experiencing the re the reign of Quake. Ancient realms. All right. So the first episode was called The Fortress of the Dead, as you saw by the title, and this one's called The Dominion of Darkness. So I'm going to save. And that's it for today. Bye.